Hey everyone, welcome to West Coast Muscle Saws, putting together a display chainsaw. This is for display purposes only to my friend Al there in New York. It's an Echo CS 2511T. I've got it all tore down. I've done some port work on it. Got the custom exhaust built. And we're going to, I'm going to show you the proper way to pressure vacuum test these. While you have them down, this is a good idea to do. You don't want to have any leaks on that crankcase after you've had it down. So basically, you build, I built a uh, just a metal, a metal aluminum plate with a rubber. Block off the exhaust. Got the uh, adapter here in the plug hole and your pressure vacuum gauge. I do sell pressure vacuum gauges if you're interested in one uh, that's got some uh, little trick stuff in it for testing different things. But it's really easy to do by just blocking off the intake port and the pulse with your thumb and I've got it on vacuum mode and what I like to do is get some good vacuum in there you know where you can see the gauge let it stabilize and then rotate the crank and you can see that gauge move a little bit Indicating that you've got vacuum, you're check checking vacuum on both sides of that, piston top top side and bottom side crankcase. Checking it all. And while you're checking this, what you're doing is actually pulling against the lips on those seals to make sure they're sealing properly. And of course, any other the any other components. Of course, this is not checking the uh, connector boot. You know, if you had a possible air leak, you would hook this up differently with the motor in the saw. But uh, you can also switch this to pressure and do a little pump up there. Rotate the crank, make sure you got pressure both sides, holding fine, and release. Anyway, if you're interested in one of those gauge kits, I do have those. You can contact the chainsaw guy. I'll give you a phone number here. 541-863-5500. SawKing at Hotmail.com I do want to show you a saw I picked up here just the other day. This is really a good one. I was very excited to get it. I love the old McCulloughs. Get over through the shop here. Check this one out. It's a Super Pro 81. And it's got the very rare, hard to find cannon bar roller nose. Just needs to be cleaned up. That's back in the uh, late 70s. That was before chain breaks or anything like that. Anyways, you got any questions on any of these saws, uh, you can give the chainsaw guy a call.